Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a sales update. So in today's video, I've got 10 sales to share with you. So without further ado, we shall get straight on with this. So uh, first off is uh, these vintage silver, pl silver plate goblets. I don't think I've had any of these before, which is quite odd because they can't be like that rare or that uncommon. Um, but yeah, I got 7 99 for these plus postage. I think that might have been an offer because I might have had these up at like 9 95 I got these in a job lot with a load of other stuff, so it didn't cost me that much. I'm just happy to sort of get them out and get the ball rolling on these and get some money back from the kind of a job lot. Um, but yeah, quite nice little items there. Made in Sheffield on the back there, Sheffield silver plated. Um, but yeah, quite a nice little sale there. Um, so next is this uh, Charles Owen Navy um, horse riding helmet. I got this in one of my car boot hauls very, very recently. Um, probably about a week or so ago, maybe two weeks ago. I whacked it up on auction on the Sunday night uh, to end the following Sunday night. And uh, yeah, it got bid up to £29 plus postage. So from a £2.50 investment and a week's turnaround, I am very, very happy with that. So yeah, that's quite a cool one. Uh, obviously one to look out for the H2000. Uh, next, vintage EPNS silver plate uh, butter knives. Um, obviously, I'm being much more careful with knives these days. Uh, these, I listed them uh, before I got the ban, um, and obviously, these were fine. These are just butter knives. Uh, you're okay with things like this. Anything that is... The way I was reading it with the policy, when I was reading into the policy, anything that's used for eating, like actually you know, dining, so if you're using a knife and fork to eat something with, that's, that's okay. Anything like carving cutlery, anything like that is a big no-no. So just so you know for in future as well, because uh, I know most people will be aware of that. Um, but there may be a few more beginners out there who don't know about that. So yeah, but these butter knives and things are fine to sell. Um, as you can see, I got fourteen ninety-nine plus my postage. Very happy with that sale because these aren't anything fantastic. You know, they're just a, you know they're a nice little set, but they're not anything fantastic. So. To get 15 quid plus post, I was more than happy with that. Uh, next was something I actually, I need to sort out my lighting when I'm photographing glass. Um, apparently, when you're photographing glass, it's better to have the light behind the glass. Um, I don't know whether that's kind of through some sort of sheet or something like that. But obviously, because the light is behind the glass, it makes it stand out more. Whereas when you've got the light shining on the glass from this, like sort of, sort of forward, um, from that angle, it kind of doesn't make them stand out very well. And also, I would imagine a black background would be better than this white background. But yeah, I don't sell that much glass, so it, it's not too bad. Um, but as you can see, the photo is a little bit low lit, and it doesn't look that great. Um, but yeah, these are just etched wine glasses. Nothing special at all, just quite standard ones. Um, and I got 9.95 plus my postage on those. Um, yeah, nothing really need, more needs to be said. I got them out of a household job lot, like a, a glass job lot. Um, probably don't owe me a lot, and I'm quite happy just to flip them. Uh, next was something really, really nice. I think these should be worth more than they are. Uh, I had them up for 16.99. I accepted an offer of 13 quid on these, plus the postage, of course. Um, and these are Art Deco Parrot Cor Coronet Wear or something. I'm not sure how you say that. A uh, nice floral decorative plate. You can see they've got a really nice look to them. Um, and I think they should be worth more. You know, I just think they should be worth more than they are, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so these are cake plates or side plates, I suppose. Um, and yeah, I got 13 quid plus post, so it was 20 quid all in for those. But I do think they should be worth a little bit more than that, in my opinion. Because you can see there's, you know, good work, good amount of work gone into those. And they are really, really nice. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that was those. Uh, in terms of what I paid, I paid £10 for a job lot of a lot more of this uh, Parrot Coronet wear. And also there was a couple of other bits in there. Uh, next was something quite nice. Tomb Raider Survival Edition. I probably lowered the price on this one because I think I'm, I must have had it up for a little bit more than that originally. But this is just all profit after postage and fees. This is from a video game haul ages and ages ago. I've still got stuff to sell from it actually. Um, so it's quite nice when these kind of sales come through and you think, well, I'm longing to profit on that. It's just kind of extra. So yeah, that was really nice. Nice little sale there. Uh, next, something from one of the household job lots again. Uh, this was a 
uh, Greek black. Like it's got like a 24 karat gold design or something in it. Um, and it's like a bud vase, as you can see the shape there is like a bud vase. Uh, 9.95 plus my postage. I have increased my postage a little bit with, with Hermes because obviously, um, you know, I want to be making sure that I'm covering that cost. So yeah, that's that one. Kind of, you know, a nice sale, but very bread and butter again. Um, but still quite a cool, cool looking item really. Next is a pair of large brass open barley twist candlesticks. As you can see here, I did just want to point this out as well. Uh, eBay has like updated the way they format the font of the price or something. Um, so I'm I'm not too keen on that, but that's just me nitpicking. It's fine really, but it just looks a bit big to me. Um, but I suppose that's kind of what they're going for. I suppose they want customers to see the price a little bit more bolder. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not. I, I'd rather like I like it this style font to be honest. But anyway, if they want to change it, they can change it. Um, yeah, so. Uh, these are open body twist brass candlesticks. I got them in a job lot again, brass copper job lot kind of thing. Probably in one of the job lots that cost me maybe 15 or 20 pound plus commission because these are a slightly nicer item. So I would assume I would have paid a little bit more for the box. But as I say, I get so many of these boxes, it really could have come in any any box. Um, but yeah, um, so obviously that kind of pays for the box and then whatever else was in it is is kind of profit. Um, but yeah, quite happy with those. Nice little item there, as you can see. Uh, in fairly okay condition as well. Uh, $26.99 free post. So yeah, quite happy with that one. Next is something that I showed in a haul video ages ago. Like a random box. I did like a random box haul. Um, and yeah, I said that's quite nice actually. I quite like the look of that. And uh, I ended up putting it on for 15 quid plus post. I, I think I said in the haul video that I would hope to get about... 12 to 15 or something for that. I ended up going with 15 and I got 15. So I was really happy with that. It isn't very big. I mean, if you look at that, it's like 12, 13 centimeters or whatever. So it's not very big for what it is, but I just knew that this has quite a nice design. It's nothing really, really special, don't get me wrong, but I just think it has quite a nice design on it. So I thought I would charge a little bit, you know, a little bit more. And I was happy that I got that. Um, and it's something that is nice when you can set a price that you think that something is worth that, even though maybe there's not many others or many like items listed on eBay, but you set your price, you stick to it, and then you get it. It's always nice when, when that happens, really. Uh, next is this uh, Taylor and Kent Coronation uh, 1953 Commemorative Wear Teacup and Saucer. Took a while to sell this, but as I've mentioned in the past, Commemorative Wear, it depends what you get. But obviously, certain items can go for all that money. I mean, this one didn't go for amazing money, but still, it, you know, it's a tenner for a cup and saucer that's commemorative wear one. It's a nice little sale. Um, I don't know why I've got free postage on that. I was wondering that when I was uh, opening up this tab, you know, for the sales update. I don't know why I've got free post on that, but obviously at the time I must have done that for some weird reason. Uh, I might have been doing more free postage at the time than paid postage. I don't know. Um, but yeah, most of my items now are paid post with the, you know, there's the odd one I put free post on there for whatever reason. And you'll see that in the sales updates, you know, the odd one will be free post. But anyway, uh, that's beside the point. It's a, a nice little 1953 commemorative uh, where so, um, uh, cup and saucer. Um, will it came in a job lot of some sort? I might have got this from a charity shop, but I don't fit... I'm thinking I might have, but I'm not sure. It's one of those items that I just completely forget where it's come from. But more than likely, it's probably come from an auction job lot. And going off maybe 50p or a quid cost, because it's not going to be more than that in one of those random boxes. Uh, nice little sale anyway, nice little item. Uh, obviously, I think it's sold because of the Royal Wedding coming up, you know, this weekend. People are more interested in these kind of... Uh, you know, collectible pieces, their royal weddings on the mind, you know, commemorative wear, royal kind of stuff is on the mind. So I think it's probably sold because of that. As you can see, the end date was 16th of May and we're now the 18th and obviously the royal wedding is getting closer and closer. So yeah, that's why I think that's sold. Anyway, I won't ramble any longer. Thank you very much for joining me today, guys, and I will see you in the next video, guys.